I'm Brett Sutterly. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Walnut Elementary on the Discovery Math Science Math side of the program. And I want to tell you a little bit about limpets and what an amazing opportunity it's been for kids. Having kids read, explore, study, learn about ecosystems, learn about habitats in the classroom is very good. But taking kids into the field where they have hands-on opportunities make this change in how kids perceive the world, make the kids understand the importance of taking care of our environment. So the Limpets program has been this opportunity that's just been fantastic for kids. The actual day goes like this. After a very long bus ride from Turlock over to Monterey, we had the opportunity to go through the Monterey Bay Aquarium and see the different exhibits and actually visit uh, the deep water and visit the tide pools and have the kids touch and feel and see the stingrays and touch and feel and see the different animals that are in the in the exhibits. Well, following that opportunity, we actually went out to the beach out of Selamar and the kids did their transact, which is laying out a 50 meter tape and taking uh, random samples along that measured area from the spot where the water rises up to the level of the beach to where it recedes. And they put these little flags into the, into the, into the sand about a meter a distance apart and they actually went out and took these large large pipes dug into the sand pulled up the sand crabs poured them into a filter Drink the water! so with the with the gracious funding that we received we were able to provide the instruction, not just a theoretical knowledge of something, but they actually get to experience the actual topic they're talking about or learning about, and it just makes it real for them. So when this, doing the limpets program, the Sandy Beach study, and to be able to explore the sand crabs and to feel the waves on the back of their legs as they're collecting water to wash through the sieve for the, to find the sand crabs, uh, those experiences just add so much to the total knowledge base that they have. The enthusiasm of the kids was just tremendous. They had been prepared by excellent teachers at their respective schools, and this is a program that really needs to be repeated. What we need is community buy-in to support it, because the limiting factor is the transportation costs to get the kids there. And once we do, it's just magic and fire from then on. The program, the Limpets program, is one of those rare opportunities where students can actually do science. Uh, I was hired in 1968 at Modesto Junior College, and I was the first woman scientist ever hired in the history of that college. And today I have the opportunity of modeling for all those little girls that are in elementary education or in, in schools here that it is possible for women to be in science and in careers in science. So that's one of my motivations. 24 millimeters. It is a female. It is a female, female. no eggs. I think that for me, it's important to make a difference in a community, and one way you can do that is to see a need and reach out and try to help fulfill that need. I see a distinct need of students being able to get out in the field. Uh, I've been a volunteer in elementary school education since my retirement, and one of the things I've noticed is that students can tell you about the rainforest, students can tell you about the coral reef, Students can tell you about polar bears and penguins, but they don't know anything about what is in their immediate environment. I kind of studied a little bit about the beach and sand crabs, and I learned um, how to use calipers. And the largest one we got was 24 millimeters, and it was a mom with eggs. And then we put it all on paper. And what I think was really fun and cool was that we're doing like the same thing scientists were. Like they've been to college and stuff and we're like helping them out. You just like, it was kind of like, it was kind of like you were on like a mission. So down at the beach, the kids were so enthusiastic. They were delighted to see nature. And my wife Lynn Hansen and I are really concerned about nature deficit disorder. 
where people do so much studying and books and schools and don't get out into the field. That it was great to see them out at the ocean. And I encourage members of the community, if you're out there and you see the value of real-time experience where kids are learning through doing, if you value taking care of our planet, if you value uh, making a difference in kids' lives, then please consider being a part of the Lippitz program. See oh, that is crazy. Watch, you'll see, watch, see, see you all? I'm gonna be out to the feeling, the feeling, the feeling, gotta love it like a feeling.